Hi, my name is James Stroud. I'm one of the research scientists working on this lizard project in association with the Fairchild Challenge. You've signed up to do some lizard surveys either in your, in your home gardens or in your school grounds. And we're interested in the distribution of these lizards all over the Greater Miami area. So you're con contributing to a, a much bigger scientific project. So we really need your data sheets, your, your raw data. Some smaller projects can be made with your, with your data sheets and, and uh, turned in in the form of a PowerPoint. If you'd like to discuss any of those research ideas, you can contact Amanda Noble at the Education Department. So now I'll show you some of the distinguishing features of each species, which will be easy for you to identify. This is the American Green Anole, the only native species in Miami. As you can see, it's bright green, so it's very obvious obviously different from the other species, it also has this bright pink dewlap, which is a different colour. The head is also very long, the snout is exceptionally long, which is different from all other species. This is the Puerto Rican crested anole. It's very similar to the Cuban brown anole, in that it has an often very brown body colour. Its dewlap, however, differs significantly. It's yellow, in the center, surrounded by an orange boundary, compared to the Cuban brown anole, which is often bright red. Adult males, mature males, also have a large crest along the, the top of the tail. This is the Cuban brown anole, the most common species you'll probably see during your lizard surveys. It tends to live on the grounds and on the lower parts of tree trunks. Like the Puerto Rican crested anole, it has a basic uh, body color of brown, but it has a bright red, very, very strong red dewlap on its throat. That's a good way of distinguishing between the two species. This is the Hispaniolan bark anole from Dominican Republic and Haiti. It's the smallest of the anole species you're going to see, and it has a bright yellow to white dewlap, its throat fan underneath. It ranges in colour from almost white through to dark brown. It sits mainly on tree trunks and is very, very spread out on the tree. So as you're doing your lizard survey, make sure you look everywhere all over the available habitat. Look on the grounds, look on the tree trunks and look up in the trees on the branches. It's likely a lot of the brown species, the brown anole and the crested anole, will be lower down on the tree and on the ground. The bark anole is likely to be on the tree trunk and will move sideways around the tree as you approach it. The green anole, the night anole and the Jamaican giant anole are likely to be higher in the trees, um, up in the crown and will be bright green. So each